Well, good morning and welcome to the show. Spring is coming. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> and the Easter holiday is just next month. So if you're already working on ideas for your Easter basket, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> I got a friend here, you friend do. and 425 Hello. magazine contributor, Hi, Monica nice. Hart is here to take us beyond the basket this yes, Easter. Yes, absolutely. I thought it'd be fun to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to do troughs, trays, and crates. So really fun, creative containers, and really beautiful and charming things to put in them. Something even for your pet. This is something so you, fun. you okay. never do anything that is not beautiful, but oh, I love you. the creativity and the thinking outside the crate this time. Yes. Okay. So this is actually something I recycled. There was something in a couple years ago, a trough, a wood trough, mm -hmm. super inexpensive. So I wanted to recycle it. And if you do a situation like this and create this trough, you want to line it with heavy duty plastic. And then okay. you're going to take wet foam and you're going to soak it and pop it in there. Okay. And then you're going to arrange your flowers, whatever you want to do, right? But one of the things you want to do is you want to finish it off. And so a lot of people use Easter grass, plastic, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Not my thing. So we're going to use this beautiful moss. I'm going to have you help me finish it. Okay. You can see it down here, but maybe here I missed right there. Maybe okay. you can tuck can some just, in for so me. So you just tuck it in? Yeah, just tuck that puppy in. And I love how I've used a fresh greenery handle. Um, I even have a camellia from my garden, roses, oh. and I have a succulent there. I like kind the of a succulent. Rosette. Edition. Isn't that fun? And you can't actually use the handle, but well. it, it just looks really cool, just like that. And then I have a little tag here. Maybe you could put it on here. Um, it's actually a bridge card. I'll put it on over right, right over Where here. Where do you find a bridge card that that's I don't play that bridge. Cute. I definitely don't play bridge, but um, I don't know. You know, little fun little stores. Things pop out at me. But I just like using this fun moss as a finisher, and also excelsior. Excelsior is another great thing to put in your Easter basket container, tray, whatever you do to finish it all off. And I see you did that here. These are great gifts, by the way, if you're going to see family. Oh, and by the way, I brought you some champagne because yeah, I wanted to toast to spring with you. I'm so excited to be here in person. So cheers. Cheers to spring. Mm. Mm. Because yeah, a girl like, could get parched doing all this. We right? are parched. <laughs> I like that you added a fun little berry. And is that a mint leaf? Yes, fresh mint. So it's really fragrant, aromatic. All right, let's okay. move on to the tray. That's our all next right. thing. Now, this, this is, is actually a mini potager. Now, a potager is a French thing. So it's Ooh. a combo in a container or a raised garden bed of both herbs, um, flowers, and vegetables. So what Great. I've done, it's like aromatherapy right here. What I've done, I've got mint, I've got sage, and also edible pansies. And these are, of course, little uh, mini daffs. And it's got all this wonderful fragrance. And I'm actually going to do this in all of my raised garden beds. I'm going to make this potager. So this is my potager starter kit, right? I love this. Yes, it's really fun. So you want to finish this off to make it look good with um, something like this. And okay. look, I have another one for you, this little fabric thing. Oh, there yeah. you go. So if you want to just wrap that around the back, because it's all about finishing the tray, the trough, whatever so you're you can doing. Just, you don't have to plant anything. You just put it in here right. and leave And it. that would be a really great centerpiece. If you have a gardener in your life, how fun is that to give that, that as a gift? Idea. And the mini <gasps> potager starter kit. And I really love to tuck this in there and do the finish work. And you can also do even a smaller version of it. Uh -huh. This is actually a crate, and it's been a uh, 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 color dipped and so I've put these in little uh, wax bags and again use the excelsior to so finish genius. it all off and that would be a great hostess gift if you're going to somebody's um, home for Easter or to give it to your girlfriend or whatever right that is so great I mean I think I have something like this at home and I could just you know yes I might double wax paper I love that I have the two in the... one give a container that is beautiful and that you can reuse it that's what I really like so that's I why we talk it. about going beyond the basket this is so fun but you haven't forgotten about the other things and the little pets in our I lives. I know. We have this a gorgeous dog named Maximus. And so I thought he really, there he is, Aww. deserved a crate. His name is Maximus Aurelius, the greatest golden one. Maximus um, Aurelius. Right. So we created this crate for him. Oh, and wow. uh, check out that wood burning tool. If you could, it's not plugged in, don't worry. So um, <laughs> what I it. did is I personalized the crate. And you can see his name, Max. And I was going to do Maximus what Aurelius, but I would have needed a bigger crate, you, you know, because yeah, a large, a very crate large for crate. Maximus right. Aurelius. So I wanted to build a really fun crate for him. So mm -hmm. we're going to start, and I'm going to have you help me. This okay. is a non-stick. Go ahead and put that in there. A non-stick uh, mat for you to put your little uh, feeding bowls on, perfectly placed. Mm -hmm. All right. And next, on either side, this is pet grass. It's actually wheat grass, and it helps with your cats and your dog's digestion. It's not catnip. 
No, it is okay. not. It's wheatgrass. And oftentimes when I do, if I do a basket, I yeah. fill it with wheatgrass from my local market. But I found this for pets. So go ahead and tuck that. Okay. One on one side, one in the other. Okay, and then okay. we've got this bunny, this wabbit. He's, I think Aww. it's Walter Wabbit. Isn't that cute? <laughs> there you go. Maybe dead center on that one. I love it. Oh, he's got a little felt oh. ball you want to tuck I in. I kind of feel bad for this <laughs> rabbit. What is his name, Walter? Uh, Walter Wabbit, apparently. Walter yeah, Wabbit. Walter Look, Wabbit. Things are and not going to go well for you in the future. I want to show you that I made this. Um, so this is just a piece of plastic that's in the shape of a triangle, okay. and I just put some treats in there. Could you do this with, almost with a pastry bag, like a? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And usually I do jelly enough. beans for the kids' uh, baskets or something like that, or fun nuts. Like but this. I put little treats, so it looks like a carrot. I, I it's have really to, fun. I have to add the little touches that Monica <laughs> does that you don't quite see on the TV, because I would just fill this up and be like, "Why doesn't it look like Monica's?" <laughs> but she has crushed. I have. The I treats. know. I took a little. She's yeah. crushed. The and treats you know, to it fill was satisfying in the to crush the something. carrots. <laughs> And then she's got a yeah. half thing right here. Yes. I just I had to share that because I am I've often tried to recreate Monica's creations and I'm like, why? Yeah, it's the so little it's things, those right? Those little treats that yeah. make the difference. Okay, but I so just love in, anywhere you want it. Um, I love that it's personalized. I've got some little uh, training treats there as well. You can tuck that anywhere oh, you want. Oh, that's cute. Um, a felt ball. But I just think it's so fun to remember our pets, our cats, our dogs, and I love that there's that grass that helps with their digestion. And plus, it looks so cute. I'm right? so proud of what I've I done here. I hope that Maximus isn't watching because it'll ruin oh, the surprise. I hope you don't spoil you know. it. <laughs> I was wondering because you are making this for Max, but you also have older kid who yes. is a, always still expecting. Oh, I, oh, we do a container every year. You yeah, do a absolutely. container every year. Gift, what are know, some important cards? things to put into older kids? You're containers? gonna laugh, but what I did is I went and got. Um, uh, like self care things like hand masks, feet masks, facial masks for guys, because yes. and and made a basket with that, made a container with that. I love and, that. And just kind of something out of the ordinary. Um, you can give gift cards. Um, a candy is always good, right? Oh, man. You know, or what are their Your favorite treats? So lucky. And then I usually always use cat grass or um, wheat grass. When he was growing up, he goes, Mom, the other kids have a plastic grass in their. And baskets. you have real I'm grass. Like, That's good. Here's That's good. Cheers, cheers to Monica always making life. More Love beautiful Jordan. in general. Bless Thank you, you so Thank you. much.